Hi, everyone. Can you hear me well? OK, good. Uh, how was lunch? Good? All right, good. I, I'm fighting that you know, post-lunch. We all, we all know post-lunch vibe here or whatever. So uh, you know, just keep the energy high. It'll be good. I'm Keith from Rampart Communications. Uh, we're a sponsor here. And quick show of hands, how many of you have heard of us? I got like three, four hands. That's good. Stings a little because I talked to like five people last night, so it's it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's a good. Well, hey, you've heard of us now, so when I talk to you tomorrow, uh, you know, it's full participation here. So yeah, so Rampart, we are a uh, uh, a small startup uh, based out of Maryland. We build radios, so our whole thing is uh, not building the hardware uh, that some of the other uh, vendors are building. We don't build sensors or detectors or anything like that. We actually build communication systems, the software that actually defines the radio. I feel like I'm explaining that to preacher to the choir here, but uh, which I feel like there's a, not that many startups in that area, so hopefully that's an interesting and attractive uh, recruitment uh, angle for y'all. We sit as sort of in this cool Venn diagram of uh, applied security or infosec, cryptography, and uh, DSP, right? So. Uh, I'll go into this more in my talk tomorrow, same time, same place. But you know, you have you can probably all think of you know applications of cryptography that we use today in wireless systems or whatever, and you can probably think about applied uh, ways that we secure digital signals, cryptography and, and DSP. Maybe not so much. We'll see what kind of crowd we have here. If it's a mathy crowd, but all three of those are uh, you know sort of contribute to the multidisciplinary area that that Rampart works in, right? So we we are doing fundamental research. At, at this layer, at the phi layer, the Mac layer a little bit. Um, and we're pushing the boundaries of science, right? So this is not, we're not just building, you know, iterative, you know, slightly faster radios or doing, uh, you know, squeezing performance out of something by, you know, radios by applying AI to them. We're actually kind of expanding on first principles. You know, Shannon in 48 wrote his paper, established information theory and proved its fundamental theorem. And there's been a lot of work since then and we've built on that, right? So if that's interesting to you, Please come talk to us, uh, myself or Lauren, uh, where we are recruiting, right? Um, just by way of a hook, because I only have a few minutes for this talk, I'm going to, uh, mostly for the people online who can't, who don't have the benefit of coming to see our demo, I'm going to play a video that is a sort of earlier iteration of this. What you're looking at are Bob and Eve in the standard cryptographic language here. Alice transmits to Bob. Alice and Bob are the two intended communicants. And Eve is an eavesdropper sitting in the middle. This video is looping, so it loops for about 16 seconds. Bob is seeing a perfectly clear, you know, noisy, noisy but QPSK signal, and his video comes in, you know, clear. There's, there's garbles in it or whatever. Uh, it's transmitting just fine. But you'll notice Eve, for a while, uh, has the QPSK, and then we turn on what you're seeing now. So starting from the beginning, Eve has a perfect look at the signal, and then we turn on our, on our phi layer encryption, and her signal stopped. She stopped at the last good frame. I'm giving you no explanation for what's happening here. Please come, come to the booth. It's longer than I can give in a five-minute talk. But we're doing this at the phi layer at performant speeds, so faster than a Fourier transform. Uh, in the radio, right? So this is not something where you have a nuclear power station attached to your radio and, and look, you can have security or security with some other trade-offs. We're doing this at phi and we're protecting not only the data in the signal, but the structure of the signal itself. That shouldn't actually sound that familiar to people because this, this is a, a fundamental advance, right? So this is just a teaser. This is the space we play in. I invite you to come to the booth, record our signal, pr you know, it's demonstration, it's not proof, but we're making some bold claims, and with bold claim comes, bold claims come, uh, you know, or extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, right? So, uh, please come to our booth, get signal snaps, and, and try us. And just to end my talk here, I think I'm on time. Is uh, we're recruiting, and if fundamental research or multidisciplinary development at the edge of science, like pushing the actual new boundaries in information theory or DSP, sound interesting to you? Please come have a chat with us. We we would we'd love to talk. We'd love to support these kinds of events, and we like the you know the GNU Radio community in particular. It's you know it's where we it's where we live and it's where we work. Uh, so uh, you're our people. So so come on over, have a chat. That's it. See you tomorrow, same time. Ciao.